Installing a receptacle for an electric range. Most electric stoves are connected with a cord and plug according to the manufacturer's recommendations. For most ranges, the new wiring includes a 4-wire 50 amps 240 volt circuit and a 50 amps receptacle typically installed behind the range. If an electrical receptacle outlet for the range is installed closer than 6 feet from the edge of the sink, it must be GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter, protected. To prepare the rough-in wiring for the range receptacle outlet, you will need 6. 3NM cable Appropriately sized junction box to fit the wires and device. For the conductors of this cable and receptacle, the minimum junction box size including mudring is 27.5 cubic inches according to 2020 NEC. 2 Gang Raised Device Cover, Mud Ring Larger staples rated for such cables. Nail plate, if needed. 3 quarters inch clamp connector. 6. 3NM cable details. The 6. 3NM cable has 4 wires. Ground wire, bare. Neutral wire, white. Hot wire, black. Hot wire, red. Metal junction box details. Capacity 30 cubic inches. Side mounting brackets with holes for mounting screws. 3 quarters inch and 1 half inch knockouts, 17 total. Ground screw hole. Screws for mounting the raised device cover, mud ring. 2 gang raised device cover details. Capacity 5.5 cubic inches. Holes for screws securing electrical devices. Screw slots for mounting the mud ring to the junction box. Slots for mounting a low voltage partition. The 6 3NM cable is already installed from the electrical panel. The cable must be supported to the structure in accordance with the requirements for NM cables. If necessary, protect the cable with steel plate approved for such use. Junction box installed in the space allowed according to the range design for mounting a receptacle, niche for receptacle. Install the cable connector, insert the cable into the connector and tighten the screws. Secure, staple, the cable to the stud no more than 12 inches from the junction box. Wrap the ground wire around the ground screw and tighten the screw. Trim all wires to the desired length, but not shorter than 6 inches. Install the junction box 2 gang mud ring. Insert all wires into the junction box. After installing the sheetrock, you will need 50 amps flush mount receptacle Receptacle wall plate Remove the wires from the junction box the 50 amps flush mount receptacle package includes 50 amps 4 wire receptacle, 1450R, NEMA configuration Receptacle installation screws Receptacle details Receptacle front view Receptacle yoke Receptacle wall plate installation screw holes Screw holes to secure receptacle to junction box mud ring. Receptacle rear view. Receptacle grounding terminal, green screw. Receptacle neutral terminal, silver screw. Receptacle hot terminals, gold screws. A measure of the length of stripping the insulation from the ends of wires. Strip the ends of the wires by approximately one half inch and connect the receptacle as follows. Ground wire, bare. From the junction box to the receptacle grounding terminal, green screw. 
neutral wire, white, from the junction box to the receptacle neutral terminal, silver screw. Hot wire, black, from the junction box to one of the hot receptacle terminals, gold screws. Hot wire, red, from the junction box to other hot receptacle terminal, gold screw. Insert all wires into the junction box and make sure the ground wire, bare, does not touch any other terminals of the receptacle. Attach the receptacle to the junction box. Install the receptacle wall plate. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.